Being a slow few weeks in autumn at the Lakeside End Bar, the newly hired bartender working here for the last six months explains how he has got used to the routine of meeting new people and having regulars mixing drinks and cleaning, working like a robot. The first regular comes to the bar called Henry, an accountant clearly being in a bad mood, explaining how his day at the office was just usual. Terrible. Having to deal with horrible co-workers and even worse clients. Henry having his guard up, not yet willing to open up as he clearly has been criticized at work or in other situations for being honest and opening up, quickly asks for a drink to loosen up, as that's the only way many people can escape reality. Going to a bar to drink their problems away. As soon as Henry is served his drink, a smile forms on his lips and he promises that he will be back, seemingly, for another drink. Next regular comes to the bar called Lisa, who explains how she has taken a retreat to this beautiful inn by the lake as she just finished her thesis, which was a major stress for her. Lisa is a young lady who seems to be getting accustomed to being an adult, starting her career life, having major stress to deal with, and with that, to night is one of the nights that she needs a drink or two the most to let loose and let off some steam. As soon as she gets her mojito, another smile forms on her face, leaving the bar but promising to be back for another after taking care of something in her room in the end. The bartender thinks to himself on how Lisa has been tense ever since she visited the bar a few days ago, almost coming to get her mojito every day in order to take the edge off. It's not surprising as he says as one of the biggest pieces of writings that make or break the results of a degree and it puts a lot of pressure on one who has to write it. The bartender feels happy for Lisa as she seems to be much more relaxed now, not having the burden of such a big responsibility. Unfortunately though, this is just just the beginning of life as if being a test to be passed to be worthy of a working life or a career just to be pressed down and burdened by more responsibility and work in the new job. For now though, Lisa needs to celebrate and not think ahead of her new problems and responsibilities and just enjoy the moment. With Lisa leaving, another regular arrives named Marcus. Marcus is a friendly and seemingly happy person who always wears a smile and lends an ear or two to anyone and everyone, always willing to listen, being a shoulder to cry on, but strangely, he rarely opens up about himself, not many people knowing who he truly is, but appreciating him for his always helpful demeanor. Marcus gets his drink and leaves, with the bartender acknowledging to himself that he has been ordering many drinks as of recently, hoping everything is okay with him, especially as he doesn't talk much, which simply means he bottles up all of his frustration and stress, which could eventually lead to someone's demise. After a few hours passing, with some other customers coming and going, the first regular comes back, the accountant Henry, clearly being a lot drunker, wearing a menacing grin, simply ordering the bartender for another drink to be specifically more zesty now. Henry doesn't utter another word, taking his drink and leaving, which leaves the bartender worried about him, hoping that he's okay, as he has never acted like this before, which means today must have been one of the worst days for him, trying to drown all of his sorrow and pain. It doesn't take long with the bartender still in deep thought about Henry when Lisa comes back, being a lot messier than before, not being as presentable as before, literally pulling her hair out with her scalp even bleeding. When the bartender tries to point out that her hair is being ripped off her scalp, she snaps at him, telling him to shut his mouth and not make any comments about her appearance, clearly bearing subliminal messages of how Lisa truly feels. Lisa is a big tipper, despite being a student unlike Henry who is an accountant who are typically thought to be packing. She is also almost always presentable, wearing her best dress whenever she's out, displaying how she really cares about others' opinions and thoughts, going out of her way to impress others and make good impressions. The display of her pulling her hair out as well could explain the stress that she deals with all the time, what she desperately tries to hide, being the good girl image she wants to portray and badly wants others to see. 
Lisa seems to be holding in a lot of stress and wanting others to have a good outlook on her, which is important to be nice and presentable. But being over the top, trying to impress everyone and be friendly to everyone, even people who are not worth it and hostile, simply means she is being an enemy to herself. As soon as she gets her drink, she leaves in a flash with another regular, Marquez, taking a seat who has a very uncanny appearance now with his eyes and nose bleeding. This time around, Marcus doesn't have his typical smile, seemingly being hurt, who simply orders the bartender for another drink, this time a lot stronger, who clearly wants to bury all of his unspoken pain and sorrow. As soon as Marcus gets his drink, he starts sobbing uncontrollably, with tears of blood streaming down his face when he gets himself lost in a corner in the bar, as if being embarrassed. It becomes clear years and years of bottling up all of his emotions finally got to him, wearing a mask of always being happy and smiling, being an ear to everyone's cries and pain but never having a shoulder to cry on. It seems all of this finally got to him, and his appearance displays his pain and trauma, which he has been trying to hide. The bartender feels horrible and greatly concerned for these three regulars who are still at the bar with only one hour left to shut down. Despite feeling horrible for them, the bartender didn't sign up for this, playing therapist, as he has his own issues and problems and cannot be expected to be responsible for others' happiness. Stressed and concerned, looking at the clock impatiently, waiting for two o'clock to shut down, Henry quickly comes back to the counter again, wearing even a more unsettling grin on his face, clearly being angry, slamming his fists on the counter and demanding another drink. It appears as if years of enduring his toxic workplace shenanigans has got to him, with the flow of drinks helping his repressed anxiety and frustration leak out, built up anger from taking all the abuse and not talking back. The bartender must be cautious as failing to deliver on the drinks requested, he would face the fury of the regulars who are not in a mood to forgive and move on from small mistakes. Feeling as if being watched with the load of the world on him, the bartender stressfully makes the drink which Henry takes and downs in a flash before laughing manically and walking away which relieves the bartender greatly. Just when he feels the weight of the world is lifted from his shoulders, Lisa is back, almost bald from pulling all her hair out, back for another, stronger drink. As soon as Lisa is served, Marcus is back with his eyes hanging off his face due to sobbing and crying excessively. It seems as if all the pressure and repressed emotions are trying to find a way out through his head. Marcus exclaims how he wants to see the world and all the joy that it holds, as if he has been deprived of any of it. As soon as the clock hits two, all the regulars leave, with the bartender left with his thoughts and concerns of all the emotions dumped on him to deal with. He does only think that he knows how, as the dealer of stress relief, drinking and drinking until he's mellow himself. That's when everyone leaves, leaving the bartender all alone at the lakeside inn, just to repeat another day tomorrow and another after that and another after that. So it's clear by now this was a representation of the social issues, depicted in a metaphoric way of how three different individuals suffered and drank themselves to amnesia. Henry, an accountant taking a lot of abuse from his co-workers and clients, had a lot of repressed anger and anxiety, which he let out after drinking, shown through becoming more unsettling progressively compared to his first stoic and poker-faced appearance. Lisa, on the other hand, seemed to suffer from a lot of stress and constant desire to appear likable and presentable, which eventually depicted her stress being pulled out of her through pulling her hair out and being very sensitive when confronted about it. This is due to her thesis and stressful few years of trying to pass, deep in the idea of a life that she wants, showing how tormented she is. And finally, Marcus, someone who always acted as a shoulder to cry on, always borrowing an ear to anyone and everyone to complain to and dump all their stress on, who never opened up about himself, first appeared as a friendly, smiley person who was willing to know about the bartender's day, but eventually, the bottled up emotions and lack of having anyone in 
his life that he can complain to and feel safe with got to him, crying to the point that his eyes popped out. And this leaves the bartender, who had problems of his own, working in a dead-end job, having to listen and see everyone else's problems, drinking their problems away, when he himself, after the bar clears, drinks himself to forgetfulness just to repeat another day. Of course, drinking doesn't solve the problem, it just makes one forget, which was portrayed masterfully in this game. Anyway folks, this has been your host star. let me know what you thought about the story and if you had any similar experiences. Till the next video, have a fantastic day.